Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. It's time to finish up this table. Um, it was my intention to cut a floating tenon joint in here, uh, like the domino, but done a little more traditionally with the router. Uh, but I needed a particular router bit. I was looking to do a 3 8 uh, mortise in here, and I didn't have a 3 8 bit. Um, so I ordered one, and it just got back-ordered. Uh, and then to compound things, I just got called out for work again. So we're just going to switch over. We're going to use the domino. It's essentially the same joint. I'm just not going to do it with the router. Um, but we're going to get this table done. So let's move over to the other table and I'll show you what we're doing with the domino because it's a little different. So because of this curve, I wanted to keep these mortises kind of tucked as far back as I can because the last thing I want is for them to poke out the front. So I've taped on a little piece of hardboard uh, to give me a little boost that direction because even on the, the shallowest setting on this, it was still just a little bit too deep and I was afraid it was going to push out the back. So I've got my marks on there and all I'm going to do is cut those and then of course I'll do that on each one and then I'll reset the heights and cut the legs. Hopefully we can do a dry fit here shortly. And of course the legs are pretty uh, straightforward because this is all flat so I just pulled pulled my marks off of there and just gonna cut those with the domino all right so there's the first dry fit uh, and it doesn't hit my marks perfectly off my template but that's okay this was just kind of a guideline for me uh, it's certainly close enough um, but I did learn a lot uh, from this dry fit uh, you notice I just have the one band clamp on it and it was kind of a pain in the butt to get all these gaps to close up and and fit like they should uh, there was a lot of fiddling with it so it will definitely be a uh, an epoxy glue up as well I may come in here on these front aprons and rather than cutting them out completely I may notch them to give me a clamping location uh, just for this joint glue up. But next up, we're going to move over to the maple and we're going to go ahead and get this bead detail on the bottom of these aprons. Now I've already marked these and I'm going to rough cut these at the bandsaw and, and just sand them up to where they fit and then uh, I'll see you guys over at the router table and we'll add a little, little bead detail to it and just round them off and make them look good. One more additional detail before I go that direction. Uh, I just have a temporary brace here in the back. So I'm also going to go ahead and mill up the back rail and get it marked for a domino location and, and get that set up as well. I'm going to do that off camera because it's nothing different than we've already done to this point. Um, it's just going to be a three quarter back rail and I'm not going to worry about you know, off offsets or anything like that. It's it's just going. It's just in there for support and something to attach the top to. Okay, so I was going to leave these much thicker and then do just you know a big round over on it. Um, but after consulting with my wife and what she wanted on the room, she wanted these much thinner. So for the there's not really so much a beading detail. Or it just rounded over. And I did that with a sanding block. Um, and then of course it's all shaped to fit and, and line up correctly. So all I'm gonna do now is just glue these on. Uh, and then in the morning when this is cured up, uh, we'll come out here and, and hopefully get this thing glued up. So apologies I didn't turn the camera on for this. Uh, it's kind of a strange glue up, um, but I'm just gonna do this one joint at a time to get around the table. That way I only have to concentrate on one joint at a time. So there's the first one. I did use epoxy uh, and I will do that all the way around the table. Additionally, last night I went ahead and milled up the board for the back rail. So that's all ready to go when we get there. 
All right, so there's the final glue up uh, on the base. Uh, to say this was a challenge would be an understatement. Um, some other things I probably could have done would have been to use the blue tape and CA glue trick and just glued some calls on here to suck everything up. Uh, but this seemed to work. Uh, it was just kind of a slow going. This was an all day process to get these joints glued up. Um, I did this one first. Then I came back and did this one. Then I added this one. And then I did the back rail and this final leg uh, all in one shot. And that's what's currently glued up. So um, I'm gonna let this sit till the morning and then we'll start cleaning up the epoxy squeeze out and stuff like that in the morning and hopefully get this thing close to finish. So apologies, I didn't turn my audio on. Um, I'm going to go with Rubio Monocoat on this one. It's just a three to one mix. I'm gonna put it on with the white Scotch-Brite pad. Uh, and I chose this finish because the finish on the rocking chair that this goes next to is finished with tried and true. Um, and I, so I think the look will be uh, very similar. I'm not gonna make you guys watch uh, all of me applying finish to this. Uh, but a very little of this goes a very long way. Um, so we will just put it on and see what we can do. And I will show you guys on the other end. Well, there it is, guys. All finished up. I'll put some pictures in here on the screen uh, in its final home. I just, quite frankly, didn't feel like dragging all the video equipment in there to shoot the, uh, the outro shot. Um, but it, it really turned out nice. Uh, little apologies for the lighting over here and shooting it in this section of my shop. Uh, but my other bench is full with another project that's going on in the shop. Um, but I'm, re I'm really happy with the way this came out. Uh, there was a lot of little tricky, intricate things to figure out in this, mainly how to, how to clamp up these curved surfaces. Um, but we got through it and, and it turned out really good. Um, top of course is held on with figure eights, which will be more than sufficient uh, for this little table. So I hope you got something out of it. Uh, if you have any questions, the usual stuff goes. All my information is in the show notes below you. Um, I encourage you all to come join the forums and participate in conversations on tables like this or projects like this, I should say. And yeah, that's going to wrap it up for this one, guys. So until next time, take care.